Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. God bless you. Thank you for joining. I see you. God bless you, Minister Abbey. God bless you. Thank you for joining. Thank you for being a part of this. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you, my wife. Thank you for joining. God bless you. I see you. God bless you. Amen. Glory to God. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you, Brother Debo. God bless you. Thank you for joining. Amen. Good to see family. Yes, as you come on, don't come alone. Bring more people with you. Share this on your timeline. Share it with your friends, with people that follow you, because God will do great things. I have, I have a word from God. There's an oil that's going to be released into the life of God's people. The Lord will anoint your head with fresh oil, right wherever you are. Do you need a fresh oil? Do you need an anointing of the Holy Spirit? You want an encounter that you've never had before. God is said to give you that encounter today. So I want you to share this on your timeline. Make sure you share it. Bring more people on. Bring more people on. Share it. If you're watching me right now, share it. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yes. Glory be to God. I'm waiting for you to do that. And I'm excited. This is a beautiful week. This is a beautiful week where few days away from our anniversary convention so i want to invite you to be a part of our anniversary convention wherever you are it's worth traveling for anywhere you are around the world don't make don't miss this uh, convention for anything do you want power to move mountains are there mountains are there obstacles barrier in your life do you want to be empowered by god to move mountains to remove obstacles and to enter into your dreamland into your promised land then this conference this convention is for you it's from friday the 21st to the 23rd you don't want to miss it i want you to go to our website get the information you can even check on my facebook page and get all the information this is a life transforming event you don't want to miss it go to hoffman.org get all the information invite your friends share this i want you to keep sharing let's bring more people on i'm going to be bringing a prophetic word from god you want to do you desire a now word from god i have a word from god for you right where you are god wants to help us god wants to help you if you need the help of god if you need a visitation a touch from god i'll be showing you how you can have your heart desire granted how the help of god can be available to you so i want i don't want you to watch this alone i want you to share this on your timeline and bring more people don't forget to i mean to check out our anniversary convention and be a part of it i'll be glad to have you come god will bless you as you come in jesus name okay and don't forget to get my books on amazon.com power pictures beautiful book this book will open your eyes to the picture of the future that god has for you are you concerned about your future do you want to know what god has for you in your future they are all in scriptures painted by god you're going to receive the revelation ability to read you know uh to to, to decode pictures that are painted in scriptures if you get this book it's going to help you greatly and of course don't forget to get god will fix it god is a fixer are there things in your life you want to see, you want to get done you know when people have problems you know with their equipment they know where to go to but when people have problems with their lives they often don't realize that our god is a master engineer he created the whole world there is nothing he cannot fix if you cast your burdens on him if you take your cares to god he will make sure he will ensure that you come out better than you've ever been so don't miss this book for anything god will fix it available on amazon.com and of course healing is the children's bread healing is the children's bread god doesn't want us to be sick god wants us to live a healthy life you don't have to be sick another day in your life you can live in divine health and if you are sick in your body you can also recover from all sicknesses if only you will learn how to walk in divine health and to enjoy divine healing that's why this book is written by the spirit of god god gave me this book and those who have read this book have experienced healing in their body those who are sick have been healed those who are uh those who have read it have stayed healthy so you can stay healthy you don't have to be sick get this book available on amazon.com also on our on our website orphan.org get it today 
confession that moves i mean con faith confession that moves you to higher height is also available all these books will be a blessing you know you shall have whatsoever you say learn to make the right confession your possession my possession is dependent on our confession so get this book it will be a blessing to you uh, prayer that works wonder for increase also available get it wisdom for profitable living wisdom is a principal thing you know of all we can desire nothing can be compared to wisdom so you need to learn how to tap into the wisdom of god this book will show you how you can begin to walk in wisdom wisdom would set you apart wisdom will bring everything that you need in your life so you need to get this book reading is very powerful because what you know can make all the difference in your life what we know can make all the difference in our life so cultivate the habit of reading and of course i have lots of other books on amazon.com and our website hoffman.org go get these books they'll be a blessing to you there are nuggets nuggets that will change your life seven ideas that can revolutionize your life all these materials are available god has enabled us to you know given us the wisdom to to package these things for your benefit all right so don't forget the anniversary convention starts this friday so i want you to be there you know whatever you can do make sure you are there and if you are not in the usa you can pray for us and you know connect in the realm of the spirit it's going to be a blessing but if you're in the united states and you're in atlanta metro area you want the power of god to move mountains to remove barriers and to enter you into your dreams and your goal don't want to miss this convention for anything make sure you are there. It's a free event and god will bless you mightily god is going to release power jesus said you shall receive power so power is going to be released for mountains to be removed i'm excited and i'm i thank god for what god is said to do so i look forward to seeing you there be our guest we'll be glad to have you go to our website hoffman.org you're going to get all the information and if you want to look on my facebook page our profile page you're going to get the information the time is friday saturday and sunday this friday june the 21st uh the 22nd and the 23rd it's going to be three days of the move of god you don't want to miss this power power will be coming from one high to to empower to empower you empower us for the next phase and next levels of our lives in jesus name all right let's get into the word of god today let's get into the miracle word father in the name of jesus i thank you for this special moment this miracle moment as we look into your word lord let faith be released into the lives of your people let there be encounters let there be impartation let there be illumination receive receive a teachable spirit right now receive illumination in your spirit for what god would do in your life in the name of jesus christ the power of god will touch you where you are in the name of jesus christ if you are just joining me you've not shared this on your timeline i want you to do that because i'm going to be speaking god's word you see god's goal is to help us god's plan god's agenda is to supply all your needs do you have needs in your life are there things that you want to experience are there things that you desire there is a way with god that you can have all your needs met that you can have all your desires granted in fact god never created us to live in want god never created us to be in need god when god created the first man this is very powerful everything that he needed was already available before god created man and god has not changed his way before you came into this world everything you need has already been provided for by god and it can become your lot it can become your portion you can receive what you want from god you just need to learn how to relate with god in order to receive everything that you want with god so i'm teaching by the spirit of god and i've been doing this um series of teaching for the past few weeks now that there is god is a god of relationship there is a kind of relationship we can cultivate develop and foster with god that can make 
all our needs met. If you have a need in your life, if you have a desire, if you have a goal, if you have a dream, you have an aspiration, there are some things you want to experience that has not happened yet. It will happen for you if you learn how to relate with God. God works with relationship. God loves relationship. God is a God of relationship. And I'm showing you by the Spirit of God the secret of the relationship that you need to cultivate with God. And God uses the things that are around us to teach us whatever he wants us to know that's the nature of god god you know god uses what is around us to give us a picture of whatever he wants us to experience in our lives you know in the in the scriptures in proverbs there was a time god said to god the scripture says is it god speaking through the wise man solomon he said go to the ants and learn their ways he said, go consider the ways of the ant. He was speaking to a person who was sluggard. He said to the sluggard, he said, go to the ant and learn their ways. He said, even though they have no guide, they have no overseer, they have no ruler. He said, but they know how to experience harvest. They know how to prepare their meat in due season. So he said, God is saying, if the ants can get what they want, if the ant can have, you know, provision that they desire, what more you and I? God is saying we don't have to lack anything. So, but we have to consider some things in order to be able to unlock the treasures of goodness that God has piled up for us. So, Today, I'm grateful that you are listening to this and I want you to pay attention. I want you to give me these few minutes because these few moments we're going to share together can make the whole difference in your life. These few minutes that I'm going to be bringing God's word, speaking to you from the heart of the Holy Spirit, showing you some secrets that God has revealed to me that can bring about everything that you desire will be a remarkable time in your life. So I'm going to share with you the secret of a relationship that when you begin to foster with God, every every of your need can be met. Every of your desire can be granted. God will be at the point of your need. Yes, you said you are wondering, are there people who have all their needs met? Are there people, is it possible to have all your needs met? Is it possible to have everything that you desire? Is it possible to attend to your dreams and to your goals yes it is possible with god the bible says if you can believe if you can believe if you can believe god don't believe your experiences don't try to believe your condition don't try to believe your situation just believe god if you can believe god and believe his word then you're going to enter into a season that you have never known before and i want to pray and prophesy that through this message you will enter into a new season in your life you will enter into a new season of divine care you will enter into a new season of supernatural provision you're going to enter into a new season of supernatural supply god will supply all your needs god will be at the point of your need god will meet you at the point of your need you're going to receive a new a, you're going to have a story to tell so what is that relationship that you need to cultivate with god in order to have your needs met the psalmist that's david by the by the by the inspiration of the holy spirit david a man after god's own heart david was a man that enjoyed god's provision david was a man after in fact god testified and said david was after his heart that means a man that had intimate relationship with god he gave us this clue here you know he said to us you know if you want to know how to relate with the person then find out who has related with that person and how they got along if you can find that out then you'll be able to relate with that person effectively and david has walked with god even god testified that david was a man after his own heart and david said he had a relationship with God of a sheep and a shepherd. And that's the powerful revelation that God wants us to have. 
if you can make God your shepherd, if you can position yourself as a sheep and begin to look to God as a shepherd, then you're going to have all your needs met. In fact, David said, the Lord is my shepherd, not the Lord was my shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. That means he had an ongoing sheep and shepherd relationship with God. And you and I need to cultivate, we need to foster that kind of relationship. In fact, if you look at the scriptures in Psalm 100, God said, he's our creator. He said, know ye not that the Lord is your creator. You didn't create yourself. In fact, he said, God created us to cultivate a relationship with us. God formed us so that we can be his sheep and he can be our shepherd. He said, we are the sheep of his pasture. And why was God using that metaphor of a sheep? Why was God trying to why was God trying to us to see uh, showing us to see ourselves as a sheep with him? It is because God wants us to learn something from the sheep. So if you look at the life of the sheep, one of the most protected, one of the most provided, you know, animals, one of the most guarded animals are the sheep. The sheep, in fact, in such in the way they relate. You know, I grew up where I saw sheep growing up. You know, some of you, you know, if you're watching me, you never seen sheep before. You never met a shepherd. You don't know how sheep attend, you know. Uh, but I have had a first-hand first experience to live, you know, uh, in the northern part, of, to grow up in the northern part of Nigeria. So I know how, you know, they tend sheep and I know how the, the, the sheep and the shepherd relate. One of the things you will notice about the, the sheep is that the sheep, has no strength of his own. The, sh the strength of the sheep is in the strength of the shepherd. And it's the same kind of understanding that God wants us to have. So God is saying, learn from the sheep. God is always using things around us that we can learn from. You know, Jesus at one point in time, when he was talking to people who are so concerned about their need, he said, why take thought for what you can eat, what you can drink? He said, go, just go and look at the lilies. Go and look at the lilies of the valley. He said, they never, they never toil, nor do they spin. But their glory was more than that of Solomon. So there are things around us that God uses to teach us so that we can learn, we can receive wisdom from those things. So the sheep is one of, at this point as I'm speaking to you right now, God is using the sheep to teach us a lesson. So, and have dealt with different aspects of the sheep, but I want to look at something here that is very, very important. It says, Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemy. Thou anoint my head with oil and my cup run over. I want to talk about the place of the anointing in the life of a sheep. Why does the shepherd need to anoint the sheep with oil? You see, the, the sheep has, you know, uh, the sheep is often like in summer time like this in summer times the sheep is often tormented the sheep is often harassed by you know the kind of insects that come because of the weather you know when the weather changes in summer time you know as 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 we are right now you're going to find out that there are some insects flies that come out because of the weather, because of the warm weather, some kind of insects, they breed better, they breed at this hour, and they come out, you know, in their hordes. They come out in their hordes, and they border, they border the sheep. They, they, they become a concern to the sheep, you know. They afflict the sheep. They, act, you know, they, 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 they torment the sheep. That's why, and when those, you know, flies come, they kind of, you know, get into the sheep, especially even their nose, their, you know, you know, their, the, the nasal fly, they get into the nose of the sheep. They want to lay their eggs because they are finding, they are looking for warm places where they can breed. So when they come upon the sheep, the sheep become frantic. The sheep become agitated. The sheep, you know, become very uncomfortable. And the sheep begins to look for a means to get rid of those flies. But it will interest you that the flies in scripture connote 
the demonic activities, the demonic activities that confront a person. You know, there's a demon. There are demons that come to bring situations into our lives. They are, they make us uncomfortable. They, you know, they afflict, they accuse, they tempt, they torment, they harass a person's life. You know, maybe you are facing a situation today. You are facing, you know, a situation that is making you uncomfortable. One of the things you will notice is that when those flies get into the nose of the sheep, or they lay egg in the ship. The ship becomes very uncomfortable. The ship begins to, you know, hit his head on anything it can find. You know, in fact, sometimes he puts his nose into the soil. Just trying to get rid of those things that, you know, those uh, irritating, uh, you know, irritable state that the ship is in. That's what happened to us. That's what happened to people. And maybe you're facing a situation right now. You feel irritated you feel you know the disturbance there are demonic effects you can't put your hand on it but there are some things going on in your life that are making you uncomfortable and you 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 you, you you're so discomfortable you're so uncomfortable with it and you 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 know sometimes when the ship gets into it when the ship is tormented by those flies the ship it can even lead to blindness Yes, the sheep can become blind through those, you know, torment. You know, when you're tormented in your life, when you're afflicted by demons, it can blind your vision. It can, it can cause, you know, a, a, a situation in your life where you can't see straight, where you can't see clearly, where you can't think well. You're just trying to ward off everything that is coming against your life. And that's what the anointing does. That's why you need a shepherd. That's why you need God. Because without the help of God, so those sheep sometimes, without the, without the anointing of the shepherd, they could easily just die because they'll be hitting their head on anything they see just to be free from those you know, irritable uh, conditions that they face. It's the same thing with us. That's why you need a shepherd. You see, there is... There are burdens, there are burdens, there are situations that the enemy, you know, we, we have we, the demons. Demons are actually referred to in scriptures as flies. You know, when you talk about demons, you talk, when you talk about flies, you're talking about demons. Demons are the ones that come into a person's life to make the person's life uncomfortable. Listen to this. If you're watching me, you might say, oh, you don't believe in devils. You don't believe in demons. You better do, because demons are real. Jesus spoke a lot about demons. D Jesus cast out demons. Jesus, you know, spoke to us about demons and demonic activities. You know, there was a man in scripture, as I speak to you, there was a man in scripture uh, who was infect infested by some legions of demons. Yeah, that man was so infected by demons, he began to hurt himself. You know, there are some things with, you can do to yourself which are hurting. You, you want to stop it, but you don't have the power to stop them because there are some demonic manifestation, demonic effects that are holding on to your life, trying to make you do things. You know, there are, there are people who hurt themselves. Most of the things, you know, because they are overpowered by an influence that is stronger than them. So we saw this man, he was a madman. The Bible says he was, he was living in the tombs and no, it was unrestrainable. He, nobody could bind him, nobody could restrain him. He was living in the tombs. And when Jesus came to his side, Jesus saw him and Jesus had compassion on him. And Jesus began to speak to the spirit in the man because Jesus commanded the spirit to come out. And the spirit was begging. He doesn't want to leave that man alone. You see, that's what demons do. They don't want to leave their victims alone. They want to continue to influence. So listen to this. If you, if you, if you have bad behaviors, if you have bad attitude, if you had things, you know, uh, forces that are controlling you, things that you are doing that you know you ought not to do. It might be because there are demons in your life that are, you know, making you to go in the way you don't want to go to do the things you don't want to do. Like I was speaking to you about the ship. 
when the flies get into the nose of the sheep especially sometimes you see the sheep they go hitting their head on the tree because they just want to get rid of that you know irritable condition that they found themselves in so some and it's the same thing with us and god is aware that look we can be we can be afflicted we can be accused we can be tempted because of demonic presence yes a whole lot of temptation a whole lot of accusation you know that we face can be because of demonic presence that are that are you know that have come into our lives that's why you need a shepherd you need the shepherd because what the shepherd does is to use his oil you know he rubs the oil he rubs the oil he smears the oil in the nose of the sheep so that the sheep can be free from that tormenting effect of those flies that's what god the shepherd wants to do for us that's why the bible says it shall come to pass in that day in the day you make god your shepherd in the day you submit yourself to god as a shepherd it shall come to pass that the burdens the burdens on your life the burden shall be taken from off your shoulder the burdens whatever has been a burden to you whatever burden you've been carrying whatever it is that has become the weight on your life that has not allowed you to enjoy the comfort of god has not allowed you to enjoy the peace the blessings of god the bible says the burden shall be taken from off your shoulder and the yoke from off your neck guess how because of the anointing the anointing the anointing of the shepherd the anointing is the if the, the 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 effect of the holy spirit upon your mind you see once you make god your shepherd the holy spirit will come into the holy spirit who is the spirit of god will come into your life and begin to help you the holy spirit will begin to help you empower you renew your mind put fresh thought in your mind put fresh inspiration in your heart and empower you to be able to overcome all the demonic you know activity the, the demonic influence in your life the, the the demonic influence in your life will come to an end because the holy spirit of god will begin to influence you he will influence your thinking he will influence your decision so what the anointing that's the holy spirit it will bring you to a place where you can have joy joy of god the joy of god you're going to you're going to have joy in your spirit you're going to come to a place of joy joyful living a place of contentment a place of love a place of patience a place you know where you can persevere and fulfill god's plan for your life and that will help you you know it will bring a renewal in your mind so the the shepherd what the shepherd does is to anoint the sheep and that's what god wants to do for you god wants to anoint you with his holy spirit by the help of the holy spirit by the anointing of the holy spirit all the demonic uh accusation all the demonic temptation all the demonic you know affliction in your life will come to an end because the shepherd and that's what the that's what the shepherd does for the sheep he anoints the sheep he anoints the sheep with oil so that the sheep that's a, there's a special oil that the shepherd has that they use to anoint the sheep and the holy spirit of god is the is the oil of god that god you put on our life to free us from the affliction to free us from everything that the enemy might put upon our lives i want you to receive the fresh oil i want you to receive the fresh oil in fact psalmist the psalmist said he said my horn shall thou exalt like the horn of a unicorn my power comes my ability comes when i when i receive fresh oil once you are anointed you're going to be inspired once you are anointed you're going to be joyful once you are anointed you're going to experience you know comfort in, you're going to come to a place of con contentment once you are anointed you're going to be filled with love you know the anointing makes a whole of a whole lot of difference you see why it seems as if you're not enjoying life the way you ought to enjoy it right now it might simply be because the anointing of god is not on your life 
you don't have the anointing you have not received the anointing you have not allowed god to pour his oil on your life but when god's oil is upon your life when the anointing of god comes upon your life you're going to become a different person when the anointing of god comes upon your life you're going to be able to do what you have never been able to do before when the anointing of god you see the anointing of god is very powerful when the anointing of god comes upon your life the things you have lost you're going to recover them you're going to recover you see the anointing is the is the ability of god